you this ab girl might as well just go ahead and just dive right into this whole autopsy thing and what good morning emma it's nice to see you love i love seeing your name in my chat today i love hearing from you honey so god bless you big virtual hug big virtual hug so when it comes to zab girl I know that many of my audience may or may not agree with my statement, okay? This is going to be one that I'm just going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. The bottom line is, is this country, we used to be blocked out of everything. This country worked very, very hard because we are the taxpayers of this country. And all our employees, so our government is our employees. They are required to be transparent now. Once upon a time, they could shovel stuff under the rug. We were none the wiser. We, we had no access to find out what they were doing behind the scenes. Now, mind you, these are our employees, and we can't even find out what they're doing. So we, as the country, pushed along laws that forced our government to be beholden to us, the employers of them, right? The taxpayers. And part of that is public record, okay? You cannot, and when you have a trial, a trial is a public trial. That means all that information that is in that public trial is public and up for public consumption, period. It is our right as citizens to acquire those documents. They don't provide you those documents during the trial. The only time you can achieve or receive those documents is after trial when you do a public record request. This is open to anybody, not just media, not just movie stars, not just Big pictures, this is open to all citizens of the United States. You are, uh, you have the ability to pull records in this country under the Freedom of Information Act. With that being said, I believe that Zab Girl did the appropriate thing by putting it behind a wall and not making it public for anybody and everybody to preview it. That would have been the appropriate the appropriate procedure for discussing this. Do, does she have a right to discuss it? Absolutely. Is it public record? It absolutely is. Now, I realize that a lot of people, this is an emotional, emotional for them. You know, it's emotional to think that somebody is reviewing a case. We have that right to review those cases. And we have the right if our audience so chooses to want to learn about those cases and see what we have about those cases, they have the right to learn about those cases. They have a right. Every single one of you have a right to learn about those. And many of our audience don't know how to pull public records. They don't know how to get these files. They don't know how to review these cases. They rely on people like me, people like uh, the docket, people like truth and transparency. Now, granted, you know, they may have blurred certain um, images, but that's up to their discretion. And as offensive as that may be to some people, that is how it is. It is not, it is up to whomever gets those documents, how they would like to present them. They are public record. What Zab Girl did was not illegal. It did not violate any policies. She did it the right way. She blocked it from the general public and those who would like to see it could see it. Now people are talking about a paid wall. How else are you supposed to keep it from the general public? What's on, uh, what's Patreon? Okay, so Patreon is another platform that is a paid platform. We're actually going to be moving over to Patreon. I've, I've had the account set up for well over a year. I've just never done anything with it and never promoted it. And I can tell you that, you know, I understand that many people are offended. Okay. And I understand the uh, offensiveness that seeing a young child's autopsy report 
Um, but it's part of the public record. And this is what I was talking about related to Kylie Rodney when everybody was saying, oh, well, the parents don't need to um, release the autopsy. And I told you, as soon as this goes to trial, that autopsy is going to be part of the public record and that autopsy will be discoverable by the public. It is a public trial. It's a public record. Whether we like it or not, this is the laws. Our laws are not uh, based on emotion. Okay. I know that a lot of us have you know, emotional and moral and, and other things that keep us from doing certain things. But it doesn't mean that you can't. It doesn't mean that it's unlawful. And again, the law has no emotion. Okay. It's not emotion. It's not emotional. We're emotional. The law is not. And the law is black and white. So for those that are wanting to go out and beat up Zab Girl, you know, just take a step back because there's going to be a time when those public records, because maybe somebody is arrested wrongfully, convicted wrongfully, those public records are the only thing that help those people get out of those troubles. It's those public records. It's people like activists and, and people that like that, that nonprofit that goes around the Innocence Project. They would never be able to help any of their clients without public record laws. That means showing unobstructed autopsy views. And again, I understand that many people are emotional, that this was in bad taste for a lot of people. But I just want to let you know, in my opinion, she did it the right way. She had a right to share it. She did have a right to share it. She has a lawful right to share it. You know, and again, it, it may be offensive. I wouldn't watch it personally. Um, you know, had I had the autopsy, I may have gone over the information. I don't know if I would have showed all the vid all the photos because I believe, you know, it is a responsibility. But if I was behind a private wall with the people that want to see it, um, would I have shown it? It's possible I could have. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not presented or put in that. Uh, position. I have not been put in that position for me to determine one way or another or how I would have handled that situation. But to think that she needs to have her channel terminated for doing a lawful act is ridiculous. Um, I think people need to quit being so emotional, but I'm not an emotional person. You know, I, 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 I'm an emotional person privately, professionally, I'm not. I'm not a, an emotional person. I look at this stuff um, black and right. That's your opinion palm tree lover. It's wrong is your opinion. To other people that are curious about the case, it was information that they needed to understand. If you knew what I had to watch behind the scenes to be able to explain some of these cases to you, you would wonder why I'm not in a padded room. So that's your opinion. And you know what? In, in, in all fairness to you, palm tree lover, you don't have to watch it, right? You don't have to tune in. Those that would like to see it and want to tune in, that's for them, not for the people that don't. When I put that 911 call up, I didn't stop from putting that 911 call up. That killed me to hear that 911 call. I was in here in tears listening to that 911 call. Many of you don't know that. Did it stop me from putting it up? No, it didn't. Because it's a public record that I received above board lawfully. It is content for this channel. It's going to a case that I'm covering. We are all adults here. Many adults are a little more curious than others. And you don't have to agree with people. Just because you don't agree with them doesn't make it right or wrong, in my opinion. It's your opinion. And I really, I really hope that people start realizing you do not have to watch something if you do not like it. You can turn the channel. You can choose not to support that creator or the content that they provide you. That's the choice you as the audience have to do. To go around and try to destroy somebody's channel for doing a lawful act that you disagree with, to me is petty and emotional and irrational. Petty, emotional, and irrational.
So again, it is your responsibility as the audience to choose to tune in to watch what you want to watch and not watch what you don't want to watch. She put it behind a paid wall. It seems to me more people are upset that she put it behind a paid wall to limit the access to it, which is what the community out here, true crime, is saying, oh, well, well, oh, 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 she shouldn't have showed it. She didn't show it to the general public. And you know what? I guarantee she spent hundreds of dollars acquiring that file. Hundreds of dollars. You have no right to tell her what she can do with her money or what she can do with her content. Again, it's not a popular statement. It's not a popular stance, but it's realistic and it's the reality. Okay. It's the reality. I don't sit here and tell you, my audience, things you want to hear. It'd be so much easier, right? To pander to your likes, right? That's not what we're here for. We're here for the truth and the truth hurts and it sucks. And that's it. She had a right to do it. She did it. There are some people upset about it. I guarantee the people that went in there and watched it were probably educated and were able to see what truly happened to that little boy. And if that's what they choose to do, that's their choice. Let's not forget we, we are American citizens, right? And we do have a right to choose for ourselves. Now, I'm not a, a fan of Zab Girl. I don't watch her. I'm not here to, um, you know, have her back, you know, take her six, you know, cover her six or anything like that. That's not what I'm here for. I don't, I don't know her. I, I could care less. I have no dog in the fight. None. None. She's not, quite frankly, in all reality, no offense to Zab Girl, but when I've watched her in the past, she bores me. That's why I don't watch her. She bores me. She puts me to sleep. So that's why, you know, but it doesn't change the fact that, you know, right is right and wrong is wrong. Fair is fair. I understand there are emotional people on here. Listen, you guys are watching true crime. Okay. I don't know how to make that make sense to you. You guys are here watching true crime. Okay. There's going to be a lot of disturbing details in true crime. Period. And for many people that can't handle maybe true crime, even if you're a true crime junkie, if you can't handle looking at an autopsy uh, report or autopsy photos, then maybe you just need to go to the channels that do commentary. But the channels that actually investigate these cases, we have to look at these autopsy reports. You can't, how are you going to, like, I don't get it. Do you think that we're all just knowledgeable here and that we can just pull all this stuff out without reviewing anything? Every time we turn around, everybody on the internet wants receipts. Then when you proffer receipts, you want to complain about it. I'm not an emotional person when it comes to YouTube, okay? I'm not an emotional person. And, and that's why when people say stuff and, 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 and I do stuff, I, I, I'm not an emotional person on here. So trying to pander to my emotions not, is not going to really work on YouTube. You know, because this is, it, it, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. And so I just think that, you know, and, and granted, people are going to say, well, it's personal to these families. Right. But this is public record. This is out there. Anybody can, can acquire it. Anybody. So don't be beating up the people that actually do the work to get the to get the stuff. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. That's my that's 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 my stance. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. But this petty, irrational, I'm gonna take your channel garbage, it's got to stop on here. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Move on. Go find another channel that you can uh, you can uh, you can find that that meets your needs. Zab girl doesn't meet my needs. I don't watch her. Right? All right. Enough with that. I, I think I've made my stance uh, pretty clear on how I feel about that. Do I think, do, do I, do I frown upon it? I, I probably would. It would probably be disturbing to me. Okay. Don't, don't, don't misunderstand where I'm, where I'm at here, but right is right and wrong is wrong. And at the end of the day, she did nothing wrong. She did nothing unlawful. And uh, quite frankly, I think people are getting way over emotional for this. Um, it's your choice. Don't watch it. Watch it. Right.
mind about the whole autopsy. I, I appreciate y'all being respectful. Um, I know that it's not uh, the most popular statement made. I get that. I'm not, you know, I didn't come here to be popular. Um, I came here for the truth. And I know sometimes the truth isn't what, what people really want to hear. I understand that we as human beings are emotional. Uh, it's unfortunate our law is not. But it's fortunate that our law is not. If we had a law, if we had laws that were emotional, we would be in a lot of trouble. And I'm very thankful that we as human beings can have emotions. And we as human beings, our emotions can direct us in what is right for us and what is wrong for us. But even what is right for us and what is wrong for us is a very individual and personal decision. And my decision of what is palatable to me, it differs from what is palatable to you. What is education to me may be different from what is education to you. So as we are all expressing that we want people uh, to hear our voice and stuff, we also need to express that you have your voice and your common sense in your brain yourself. You do not have to watch it, entertain it, or listen to it. That is a choice that only you can make because it's personal to you. But don't try to change other people. That you don't have a right to do. You have a right to, do, to be who you are for yourself just like everybody else has a right to be who they are for themselves. Let's not blur the lines. Let's not blur the lines. If you don't want to watch something, it's your responsibility to change the channel. It's not my responsibility to change what I'm talking about. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful day. God bless you as you make your way through your week. Uh, take it easy. Don't take life so seriously. Tomorrow is not promised. I would hate for every person in here to have a stick rammed up their butt and tomorrow not be promised for them. How boring would that be, right? That's not your legacy. Go live life like tomorrow is not coming. Enjoy yourself, love yourself, love the people around you and do what is best for yourself, not someone else. God bless each and every one of you. Until next time, be safe and kind to one another.